podcast mic. Hey, what's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So for today's topic, what we are going to do is we are going to talk about how to or we are going to continue our discussion how to place Revit families using our Dynamo. So on our previous video, I have shown you how to place lighting fixtures, right? Using the series of points that we have uh, created uh, uh, on my last video. Alright, so just for a quick review. Alright, so just a quick review. So what we did last time is we have used here uh, family points. So we use this one. Family instance by point. Wherein we have connected our point here. And then we look for the family type which is under the Revit. You click the Revit. And then selection and then look for family type all right and then the family that we have placed there is our light canopy so this is what we did last time so we connect this there to place these lighting fixtures on this series of points that we have so if I'm going to run that run it's completed so let me minimize this one so it looks like this right so this is what I did last time. So by the way, let me just create here our canopy by going to the massing, in place mass, I select your OK, and then after that, um, go to the insert, link our set file. Again, I have a video of this, you can go check that one out, how I have exported the Dynamo surface to a set file. Alright, so this time I'm going to use that as a reference to create my canopy. Alright, and then I'm going to finish the mass. So after that, um, to create the mass, okay, so I'm going to select massing or to create the roof using the mass, I'm going to select massing, roof by face, and then I'm going to select the mass and then create roof. There you go. Modify. And then I'll just hide the mask. Okay, so this is what I did in my previous videos. Okay, so this is just a review. So we created our roof and then we place our lighting fixtures. Now what we are going to do, again we are going to insert a family. So this time around, after we create lighting fixtures using these points, these points here so this time around we are going to use these poly curves that we have created last time as our guide to place our structural framing all right so to start that so let's look for structural frame all right so we need this one um struct a uh, beam by curve so if you click that one so we have three inputs okay so we have three inputs we have curve, which is, we already have that. So these four curves. So I'm going to connect that to the curve and then level. So we are going to place that on level one. So we need to look for levels. Levels node. All right. So levels node, that one. So let's look for level one. Level 1, and then for the structural framing type, let us just type again, struct, structural framing types. Alright, so this is the node that we need, and then let's look for the type. So we only have one type available, so I'll just use that one. And then after that, I'm going to connect the framing types there. There you go, so after you place this node and then connect the necessary inputs so let us now run it we minimize that let's look for our model there you go there you go see so nice okay so basically what we did is we used that poly curves that we have created to place our structural framing okay so that is that's it for this quick 
video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can by the way let's try to group this select Control g let's call this uh, placing lighting fixtures using points okay and then these three nodes that we have here Control G, so this is placing structural framing using curve, curves, and there you have it, okay, so thank you for watching guys, have a nice day.